How's it going everybody? Josh here from Spawn Fly Fish. And today we are going to tackle a question that we get asked nearly every day. Can you fish for surf perch in Washington state on a fly rod? The answer is yes, you can fish for them. You might not always catch them. I have done it quite a few times. The few times that I've had a lot of success, this is the fly. So we got a standard stinger hook in the vise here. You can also tie this in jig format and we got a spawn football bead here at the top. We don't, we're not going to use any lead wraps here. We're just going to build a bit of a thread dam. You can tie this in jig form or on one of these stinger style hooks. This is going to be cast out. Let the current take it a bit and then stripped back in pretty slowly. Doesn't need to be crazy fast. And this is a really easy fly. I've tied it live before on our Instagram. So we're now we're kind of going back here and making sure that we hit all those flies that we've tied live. Alrighty. So now we're going to take some Spawn's fluorescent micro chenille. You want it a little more than double the hook length. And this is about as easy of a fly to tie as they come. But there are a few things here that you want to do and you keep in mind. So when you're tying this on here, make sure that when you wrap it, that you don't wrap. So we have our thread right there. Keep our thread wraps right there and lock that into place. If you go up the thing, it's, there's going to create a gap here and it just won't look as clean. So now we got that. We're going to start wrapping this chenille forward up the shank of the hook. Oop. Like so. If you have a rotary function, this is a good time for that. I've tied a couple of these and my piece of chenille is running a little short here. We're gonna finish off here with the rotary. And we're gonna get it just behind the bead, leave a little bit of room here. So we're gonna tie there and lock it in and cut off this excess. So as you can see, it's basically just a little worm at this point. And that is basically all you need. So the people that have a lot of success out there gear fishing are either using a little grub or a clam neck. And this is kind of in between. Doesn't smell like either of them obviously, but it does get their attention. This and teeny little shrimp flies are the two flies that have actually worked. All right, now we're gonna take a little bit of semi-seal here. This is our ghost shrimp UV orange. A little clump and dump here. Make sure that it's evenly distributed. Another wrap, bail it back. You don't need a lot of this. As you can see, I don't have a ton of it. And we're just going to create a little bit of a hot spot orange collar here. Just like so. And you can either do the zappa gap this way, or you can put a little on at the end. I'm just going to slip it on this way. and a quick whip finish. And that's that. It is just not hard to tie. It is really a little fishy. I've actually caught a bunch of sea run cutthroat on this in the rivers and in Puget Sound. As you can see, that is about as easy as it gets. And like I said, you know, you see a lot of the success that individuals have in California targeting surf perch and in Southern Oregon for that matter. And it can be done here in Washington state. Conditions playing a major factor in the success that I've had in the past. And what we'll do here afterwards is we'll take this and just burn the tip of it here. Creates a little taper, makes it a little more lifelike. 
and it adds a little bit of durability. But that is this fly. I hope you guys like it. Really, really easy to tie. I recommend having a few of these. If you're going to fish the saltwater in the surf for perch, and this is also just a great little fly for cutthroat. If you enjoyed this, be sure to hit like and subscribe, and all these materials are available at Spawn Fly Fish. Thank you very much.